welcome to issue 10 of the collection dimension uh man uh, got a big uh show uh, a lot to talk about um just go through a couple things uh yeah just got these bad boys in these are my thanos boxes looking beautiful side look at that Ooh. dope box though both his fist, so I grabbed two of those. Um, then what I didn't like about it is that how small the boxes, uh, the box are. Um, you're missing about, I don't know, two to four inches off of it. Um, maybe a little bit bigger. I don't know. What I did. It's a, eh, it's all right though. Dope box though, all around. So um, this week I grabbed a lot of comics, um, like usual. Um, so. Uh, let me get into the news. Uh, John Cena, man. They were talking about John Cena playing uh, Duke Nukem. So they're going to talk about coming out with a Duke Nukem movie and uh, see how that goes with him playing playing that role. Um, then they were talking about, uh, this was a, a nice one to find out, uh, Rom. Uh, Rom movie. I don't know if you guys remember who Rom was. But uh, it's this guy right here. And... Uh, his, uh, they're talking about making a movie, so, um, let me see, they got, uh, Zach Penn uh, as a screenwriter, he was, uh, he's the screenwriter for Ready Play Player One, the movie that's in theaters right now, and he also did X-Men The Last Stand and The Incredible Hulk, uh, they hired him on, uh, to do the movie for Hasbro, um, Hasbro and Paramount, so, uh, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, that'll be dope, but they talked about, uh, Rom back in, uh, I think, like, it was 2015, when they were talking about uh, possible movies to make, and that would have been uh, Rom, G.I. Joe, Micronauts, Visionaries, and Mask. M A S K. You know, uh, so if they should, if they come out with those, it would be some dope ones. But his first appearance is in his first issue, um, in Rom's first issue, Rom, the Space Knight, number one. That's this cover right here. Um, so yeah, that'll be one to look out for. I scooped that uh, I scooped that one out when I found out. Grabbed a couple uh, that are near mint. So uh, let me get into uh, my haul this week um, of what I grabbed. So um, start off with Saga 50. I should have grabbed more. I grabbed one. I didn't grab. This is the the, the Virgin cover. So uh, I just grabbed the Virgin, I didn't grab the regular cover, so the regular cover is just with the Saga logo. Um, Days of Hate, chapter uh, 3, 3 of 12, uh, I grabbed 1, 2, uh, so I just grabbed this one too, I don't know if I'm going to grab the rest, not really, not reading it, don't really have the time. Um, so yeah, Rick and Morty. Um, this is number 36, man. Um, Jerry. You gotta love Jerry. 36, and then this is the variant. So, uh, I was happy to grab those. You guys know I am a huge Rick and Morty fan. So, then we are stepping into, uh, Dark Knight's Metal. Um, number 6. So I've been uh, loving the covers with these, man. Especially this cover, man. That Batman right there, dope. Artwork, the artwork is on point with this one, man. Real dope one to have. I want to say that's uh, Scott Snyder. Scott Snyder and uh, Greg Capullo storyline. Then the foil cover. Cold cover. Number six. Beautiful. Um, ended up uh, scooping two of them. I like the foil co the, the foil covers. Not on all of them, but this one was dope too. I thought that was real cool. I'm always into zombies and you know uh, just anything that looks deadly and stuff like that. And that's a dope ass deadly looking picture. And then of course my boy Batman who laughs. Can't go wrong with that cover. That is a beautiful looking cover, man. Real dope artwork. Moving on. So then we got some Marvel here. Um, I haven't been really uh, into the, the Thor variants, but this variant, I thought the artwork was just just cold artwork. Beta Ray. Bill, you got all the Thors there, man. That 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 artwork right there is that's dope, man. 
Cold Black Panther uh, variant. Then uh, hit a milestone. Daredevil number 600. They came out with like 10 different variants or something, something like 9 different variants. This is the Shield uh, variant. Ages of Shield variant. Regular price. Same thing with the card variant. Issue 600. Then we got, I grabbed a couple of these. The third printing to $794. I love that picture. So I grabbed a few of these. I think this one going for like uh, 15 bucks on eBay. So keep your eyes open. Then uh, Immortal Hulk. Grab two of those. And Avengers 682. This is the regular cover. Part 12. Been a good storyline. Um, and then uh, to top it off, this is the last one. Ghost Rider number one. Uh, I didn't get to grab all my other uh, comic books um, from my other store. The, the store I go to now, they don't have uh, all the smaller ones. So those, those are definitely ones to uh, go to. So um, I might just drop a two minute film uh, video tomorrow. But then while I was at the comic book shop, I ended up buying, boom, Shazam number one, a pretty good copy. Um, this is Shazam number one. This is the first appearance of Shazam in Silver Age, so uh, not Golden Age. And then, beautiful copy, man. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., number one. That is a dope, dope comic to have. I've been wanting that for my collection for a while. So now I can knock it off the list. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think that'll be uh, it for this week, man. Until next time, I'll hit you guys back soon. So, like always, share, like, and subscribe, man. Peace.